Hey guys, good morning. How are you all doing? I'm just having breakfast while I'm watching a movie, okay? My hairstylist is actually on her way here. She's supposed to come and make my hair. It's crochet braid, so I hope it won't take, well, it won't take that long. Anyway, she's on her way here to come and make my hair. But let me quickly tell you guys about the movie that I'm watching. It is on Giddy Box Office. So Giddy Box Office is an online streaming platform where you can watch Nollywood movies. Yes, the latest coolest nigerian movies you can watch them on giddy box office yeah so the movie i'm even watching right now the name is don't get mad get even but they have a lot of movies they have so many interesting movies to choose from i'm lucky waiting i've not started watching the child even though i put it on i've not started watching it because i'm waiting for my hairstylist to come so we can watch it together <laughs> but yeah um they have so many so many options to choose from but for you to be able to access the movies you have to sign up you know either monthly or yearly okay if you sign up yearly you're going to get a huge discount but you can also sign up monthly if you just want to try it and see you know how good it is you can sign up for one month and yeah once you sign up you get access to all the movies on the platform so you can watch anyone you can watch it anywhere you can watch it on your phone you can watch it on your laptop on your screen or your smart tv okay it's just an online streaming platform so you just sign in and then you have access to the movies and you start watching your movies okay so yeah i'm really interested in watching this one because the storyline sounds really good let me just tell you guys the storyline okay so it's about two brothers one is a university lecturer he's highly educated but he's poor then he's moving in with his younger brother or younger yes moving with his younger brother who is actually a school dropout but is rich okay so i really want to see the dynamics of you know how it's going to work because from the story the elder brother is quite uptight like he's the kind of person that is very godly very don't do nonsense don't follow women he's very very uptight but his brother on the other hand is just a a jaye jaye person <laughs> you know so they are complete opposites but let me see how uh, you know what happens at the end of the movie uh, okay <clears throat> You guys, I just said that the younger brother is a Jai Jai person, but what's actually funny is that the elder brother, who is the you know godly one, his name is actually Jai, while the brother's name is Juwon. Anyway, so the link to sign up, you know, on the platform is in the description box, and details about you know Giddy Box Office is going to be in the description box. Okay, so yeah, you guys should just go and sign up and go and have fun, enjoy your services to relax, like I'm about to relax right now. Okay, yeah, my hairstylist is here now, so. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today is actually Saturday. I want to go and arrange my kitchen. My kitchen is finally done. Yay! It's one of the gates. Okay, it's not here. Yeah, so my kitchen is finally done and I want to go and um, just arrange it, like put stuff back into the kitchen. And I'm supposed to go and pick Nello now, but um, the plumber is on his way to come and fix something. So I need to wait for the plumber before I go and pick Nello. Anyway, let me just go now and go and sort out my kitchen. I don't think I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys in the final review. But yeah, my kitchen is finally done. I'm happy. I'm grateful to God. I never expected it. <laughs> Actually, I expected it. But yeah, since it's done right now, I want to go and um fix it i just finished filming the video you guys like my hair you guys i love this hair i feel like the hair is so beautiful anyway um how are you guys doing happy weekend what's going on in your city what's going on in your state what's going on in your community in your neighborhood in your house let me know in the comment section what you guys are doing today or the day you watch this video anyway but yeah um i'll catch you guys later hey guys so you guys I haven't been feeling too well since the last time i picked up my camera i think that was when i filmed a bunch of videos and i started this vlog okay i know i had a lot of things planned out but then i fell ill and i haven't picked up my camera since then i managed to edit the two videos and i put them out 
one was a hair video and the other one was like a chit chat video i was talking about you know raising girls can you guys hear me clearly i can't even raise my voice well um anyway so yeah i i um so yeah i've been sick um i had to treat for malaria cold and what else again that's basically it i'm getting better i feel better now but it wasn't funny this past it hasn't been funny this past few days um, my husband is coming back today so thank god i have someone to you know, basically help me just someone to take over for me okay um hi guys um i think i look better today yeah i think i look better anyway i'm in my kitchen now you guys i've not yet shown you guys this kitchen so i don't want to turn so that you guys will not see the rest of the kitchen but yeah I'm in my kitchen the lighting in my kitchen is very very nice that's why i am you know it's actually night right now like it's past seven so that's why i'm filming in my kitchen anyway because lighting is good yeah anyway today is my husband's birthday and he wasn't around he's just coming back today and yeah i want to show you guys his cake he's currently on his way or he's about to be on his way anyway we both do not like late waka but we really do not have a choice today like he, his flights came in late but anyway he's currently on his way now so this is their dad's cake um it's inside the nylon right now i actually chose this cake but right now i'm looking at it and it's looking too dark for me <laughs> but yeah it's actually a black and gold cake it's quite masculine Mm. Uh, mommy, how, how how about the card we we, mm? we made on the laptop? Oh, the one we made on that Canva software, but we didn't print it. That's what you 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 even said. Like like, like when I said it one million times. Wait, mommy, mm? what do we even need to print it? We need a printer. Who's the printer? Who's the printer? Hmm? Who's the printer? We'll take it. We'll take it. And can print it. What? <laughs> Why are you coming <laughs> You didn't hear any sound. Eh? You didn't hear any voice. Daddy is here. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So you went to the supermarket too? Hey. Why is Sophia's face like that? Sophia, what happened? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May God bless you now. 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 You as Jesus. What's the best spelling? Good job, good job, good job. Sophia is also just so sort of rubbish. Cora, do you have anything nice to say to Daddy? Yeah, I see. I love you, Daddy. I love you too. Mm hmm. Is that all? That's it. Sophia, I don't want you to say to Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so it's a beautiful day today, and I want to do my makeup while I chat with you guys and give you guys a rundown of what was happening to me or what happened to me, okay? why i've been missing in action i'm sure you guys would have seen that i attended nello's birthday party but what you guys don't know is that <laughs> it's not me that people we are seeing here it's not me it's just my my um i had to summon <laughs> somebody to go on my behalf okay the person i had to summon somebody because me i wasn't feeling too well i've not been feeling well for the past i think this is the second week now third week I think this is the third week set but I'm, I'm actually better now that's why i can even make this video but i've been really sick and this is not um ordinary normal kind of 
sickness that used to worry me. Everywhere was looking kind of dark. So yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I've not been feeling fine and it's not even the normal kind of not feeling fine that I usually have, which is basically headaches, then sometimes menstrual pain, sometimes weakness, but really nothing serious. Okay, but this one, it was like malaria symptoms, cold symptoms, menstrual pain, because I was on my period at the same time, and then my period took, my period stayed for 13 whole days, as in 13 days straight. Okay, sometime around maybe day 9 or so, the thing stopped, and then it continued. You know, cont not like heavy bleeding, but it was enough to wear, it was real spotting, it wasn't like um, just wear panty liner, it was real spotting. It was real, it was more than spotting, okay? <laughs> yes, I was really, really sick, and what even made it kind of annoying, or worse, is that my husband was not even around, okay? So there was nobody to help me do stuff while I be sick in peace, okay? <laughs> I couldn't be sick in peace, okay? I had to do stuff around the house, I had to still go buy stuff, you know, anything we need in the house, and I still, I still had to drive out to go and buy them, even though at some point I couldn't even move again, like for three days straight, I didn't leave this house at all, because I was really weighed down, you know, so, um, eventually my husband came back, he came back on the 10th, which was his actual birthday, he was supposed to come back on the 7th, but, you know a lot of delays happened so he had to come back on the 10th which was his actual birthday so that was the birthday you guys saw where we celebrated him he just he, like he literally just walked in through the door and i was like see i've been waiting for you since morning come and cut your cake because your children have been asking me for cake and i've been telling them let the owner come back first now so the moment he walked through the door and dropped his bags and we greeted i was like oh yeah let's go and sing happy birthday for you you know so that was how he we celebrated his birthday and then the next day was nello's birthday as well so we also went for that one in the morning we went out to buy blizzard for my husband okay so we also you know went for that one the birthday was so lit like it was so interesting i felt really bad because the birthday was really really interesting but i couldn't really experience it that well because i was really tired if you guys have watched some of the birthday videos you'll see that she will come and drag me to dance i'll dance man go and sit down back because it's not me that was there <laughs> it's not me that was there my legs were paining me i had to leave the venue several times like out of the building i had to leave there several times to gang breathe in fresh air because i was feeling you know choked up um yeah like a lot really went on last two weeks and last week i just couldn't in fact youtube was not even it could not even have happened like there's no way i could have vlogged or made a video while all these things were going on like there's no way because i was literally just trying to survive first of all and the thing that made it worse again was that sophia i think she was also sick okay the same cold symptoms that i was having she was also having them so i you guys know how when children are sick they tend to breastfeed more that's the ones that are being breastfed they tend to be more clingy and they tend to breastfeed more so on top of my own sickness so i was breastfeeding child every night like heavily breastfeeding like when i say heavily i mean i was heavily breastfeeding so i did I, as in i wasn't catching a break i wasn't resting during the day i wasn't resting at night uh so yeah let me even talk about nello's birthday nello's birthday party was really interesting it was lit like when they say someone's birthday was lit it was lit it was in fact the energy in the room everybody was excited you know it's not a kind of party that when you go for you see some people will be sitting down moping what some why few people will be dancing you know it was like everybody was having fun everybody danced everybody you know really enjoyed themselves my husband went with me but he left early i didn't even know he would stay long i think he stayed to like 8 pm yeah he stayed to around past 8 or 8 pm then he was like, ah, he wants to go, but I thought it's not safe. This one, true, true, sure. we don't go out at night, ever, ever, ever. Like, the latest my husband stays outside the house is 6 o'clock. That's the latest, as in, like, he maybe he went to repair car and did not, and something, they didn't fix something. In fact, even at that, he doesn't even stay there, he will come back home instead, you know. But the latest he has stayed at home is, he, I mean, the latest he stays outside the house is like 6 p.m. So, that was actually a stretch for him. Well, just like once in a while, at least you know, do um, once in a while, let's try and just 
enjoy ourselves. But to him, he had enjoyed himself, he had eaten, he had, he had had fun, he has laughed <laughs> because he had this smile on his face throughout the birthday that was so funny. Uh, yeah, says that uh, the party was late, so I went to the club for the first time ever in my life. I hope this fan is not entering this, this video because everywhere is quite noisy. So I went to the club for the first time in my life and the first question I, or the question I kept asking myself is why does anybody do this willingly? Like why? So you just cool down, stay in your house and just start getting ready, getting ready. When you finish getting ready, you will carry yourself and go to club. Why? Like I don't get it. It was so noisy. It was so smelly. It was so choking. It was just, it, it was dark. Like it was everything. It was very dark, very noisy, very loud. You know, there's a difference between things, a place being loud. There's a difference between something being loud and being noisy. It was both noisy and loud. Okay, then it, it's, the smell was extreme. Like it, the everywhere was just people that were smoking shisha and all those things. The smoke was just everywhere. Then what else? Okay, the music was interesting. At least the music was interesting. People were dancing, but there wasn't even enough space to dance. A lot of strangers everywhere. It was just yeah, eh, mm -mm, no, 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 no. It's not any. It's not something that I want to do again. Like it's not something that I want to do again. Like except somebody's birthday parties inside the club. I'm not going to any club for any reason. Like you can't just dress up and say I'm going to club. Except you're doing your birthday party or your event inside club. Count me out. You know so. Yeah, that was my first experience and hopefully my last because <laughs> it was just a waste of time, you know. I said, why would people do this? Because for me, eh, I, I preferred what we were doing at Nelo's party because Nelo's party turned to club at some point. Like, the music was so good, everybody was dancing. I preferred the setting of her party, which was everywhere was bright, AC, you know, everywhere was cool, no smoking. The weather is becoming brighter. Mm -hmm. So another thing that <laughs> another thing that I saw in the club that I was just like, thank God this thing is so meaningless to me. Eh? You see that Dorime thing? I, I it was so hilarious to me. It was just like when when they start singing Dorime, two girls on a karaoke like this, what shining light in. You know, now be walking there, somebody will be holding the drink. <laughs> I'm just like okay, <laughs> okay, If you guys are Igbo, translate it for others in the comment section. I was like, okay, can I said, thank God this thing is so meaningless to me eh? because I know, okay, from hearing about it, I know that it's because the drinks are expensive. You know, even the hype man in the club was talking about it, like, ah, if you don't do the remake, it's not for civil servants. It's not this, it's not that, okay? So, obviously, the drinks are expensive, but okay, it's very, very meaningless to me because number one, I don't, I don't care about drinks, so that expensive, cheapo. I can drink Coke and I'll be fine, like, I'll be happy, you know? So, that the drink is expensive is meaningless to me the same way i think i talked about this how i really don't know designers and i don't know cars okay i just know fine and ugly so i know drink is sweet drink is not sweet i don't know uh, this one is it's so sound so a brand of drink this one is the higher value this one is the eh, eh, i don't know this one one is just it's sweet it's, i can drink chapman when everybody's drinking uh, champagne i can drink i don't even like alcohol again too so I think that one to add to it. So anyway, that thing was just hilarious to me. Okay, thank you. But yeah, thank you to everyone who reached out to me. Some someone sent me a message and she was like, post video. <laughs> like from her from the way she wrote the video, I could tell from, from the way she wrote the message, I could tell that she was saying, just post a video. Wait till they worry you this girl. <laughs> And see, yeah, you guys like me. If I like posting, you guys know that I enjoy posting. So anything that will stop me from posting on YouTube, know that the thing is strong. It is it, serious, okay? If I could film myself giving birth, if, if I could edit a video the day I gave birth, like the day I gave birth, literally in the hospital, I edited the video when my baby was sleeping. If I could do that, just so that whatever stops me from posting on YouTube, that thing is strong. And this one, it was strong, man. But I'm just thankful to God that we're fine now. Uh, like, I'm still going through the cold part a bit. Like, I still have cough and a little bit of kata and all of that, but nothing too serious anymore. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, yes, definitely watching that movie. So, like I said, if you guys want to watch Nigerian movies on the go, 
latest interesting movies go and check out giddybox.com okay giddyboxoffice.com yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys